Kenny, um, it's a fixture that you've been heavily involved in. You've played an 18 old firm game, scored nine goals. What is it you like about this fixture? Why do you turn it on in this game? I, I, I don't know if it's about turning it on in this game, it's about enjoying the fixture, it's, a, it's the game. <clears throat> Obviously, it's a, it's a huge game for both both teams. It's a huge game in the fixture uh, in the Scottish calendar. For me, it's a it's a game you're brought up on. It's like I say it's the first fixture you look for on the calendar. You 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 want to be playing the biggest, best games against the best opponents. And there's no doubt within within the Scottish game, there's a, two giants going head to head and. It's, a, it's just a fixture I've been fortunate enough that I've, I've managed to pop up with a few goals. What makes this fixture different to any other? I think everybody knows the history behind the fixture, the the fact that it's two fierce rivals for the the same city, it's what's separated by kind of five or six miles or so. It's uh, You're always going head-to-head -head for leagues, for Scottish Cups, League Cups. It's, uh, and obviously it dates back, the history it dates back a long, long time, and and these two good clubs have been uh, have, have been at it for a long time. How do you find going back to Celtic Park in these fixtures? Love it, absolutely love it. Again, been been fortunate enough that we've been quite successful in my, in my last spell here, where we won there. I managed to get a few goals as well. Uh, I think one of the games we actually lost. I think we'd already won the league by that point as well. I think it was was it Neil Lennon's first game. I think we we lost two one, but we'd already won the league as much as it's a a huge fixture. It was it was still hard to take that night, but we've been even even that night. I look back on that night. I thought we played really well that night. So it's been a it's been a successful venue for for me as a Rangers player anyway. How do you feel looking back, seeing yourself score for Celtic in this fixture? Second. <laughs> no, listen again. These are uh, these are decisions you make throughout the course of your career. It's uh, at that point it was a I felt it was the right choice for me at that point in my career. Uh, fortunate enough, I've managed to get back to where I belong. And uh, like I said, I've, I've been since when I came back the last time had a had a successful three years in the fixture. Scoring for Rangers in this fixture beat scoring for Celtic in this fixture. Did it feel different? Listen, I think the the games are because of what the games mean. Every goal, if whoever scores, is is a huge huge goal. Uh, for me, coming back here off the back of playing for Celtic to to score two goals in that first first game at Parkhead when one four two is was a for me, it went a long, long way to getting accepted back into the Rangers family. We've obviously had this fixture in the last couple of years, Kenny, but how much more intense is it back in the same league and also with not being at a neutral venue as well? It's huge. I mean, the, I mean, the difference is, I mean, again, you must, I mean, you, you must sense it yourself, in the, whether it be Ibrox at Parkhead, uh, the atmosphere is a different atmosphere to when you play in a semi final or a final at Hamden. Uh, whether it be at home where you've got the back in there, a 50,000 fans or away from home where there's 55, 50,000 50, fans against you, there's a, a real notch up in the in the noise level in the game. So, yeah, it's one to look forward to and can't wait for it. I mean, guys like Joy and some of the other new signs have played in massive games, but everyone sort of acknowledges this one is unique. Have you been talking to those guys and kind of telling them what to expect? No, not at all. I mean, again, I know experiencing it as a player is different, but... As a fan watching it, it's, uh, I think you can you get a little insight into what it can be like. Even that, even in terms of the noise, like even just the first the first act of the Arnold Fun game. And I remember was it was it Barry Robson and Christian Daly after about three seconds, where there was a there was a head to in a game. So I think just to look at it and watch it as a fan, you you know what it means to both sets of players, to both clubs and to both sets of fans. So there's no doubt it's hard to prepare for, but I'm sure quick enough our lads will, will find their feet and find their game. People seem to be quick to point out that given the way the season started at Celtic and being at home as well, that, that they're favourites. Does that bother you at all? I suppose it was the same situation going into last season. See if you, see if you, went, if you looked through any old firm game, I would imagine the home team have normally always had the edge in terms of Bookie's favourites, if you will. Uh, this time, we are a team who have came up through the lower leagues. Uh, they're the champions. And the best team in the country, obviously. They're the champions for a reason. But that never stopped us last year. We went into that game with fully confidence and belief in what we do. That's not changed yet. Listen, we have started slowly, a lot slower than what we'd have liked to have, have started. I, mean, I think you've seen our game in spells of probably each of the four games. You've, you've seen the way we can play and, and, and how we can hurt teams in each of the games, but it's not been a sustained performance over the 90 minutes, so that's something we'll have to put right for the weekend. What should fans expect then from this, particularly from Derby, from Rangers? 
well, again, I, I don't think that we, we we'll always talk about our game plan and, and our style of football. That, that's never going to change. We will still be going to Parkhead looking to dominate that ball, looking to create chances and score goals. Yeah, we know, we appreciate, we have to we have to tighten up in the in the back area. They have got players that can hurt us, but for us it's all about what we do and if we can do that, we're more than confident we can get the right result. I feel like a strange experience because it's been so long since there's been such an intensity around this fixture. Well, listen, again, that's what I think that's what Scottish football's craved over the last four years is, is Rangers return to the top flight, not just for these fixtures, but the, the top, again, I include Hibs in this as well. I would love to see Hibs back in the top flight as well. I think we read, was it, was it Ali was saying this morning, we need the... Hibs, Hearts, Aberdeen, Celtic, Rangers, all in the top league, and I think for the good of our game, we need these fixtures back. Kenny, given that you've dropped a couple of points so far, and Celtic haven't, do you feel already there's a bit of pressure on you to go there to, to get a result to show that you can compete with them this season? See, see whether we get the right result or not. For us, it's about going and doing what we're doing. If we can hit a performance, sometimes you'll win, sometimes you'll not. You're never going to lose anything at the start of September. You're never going to win anything. For us, I've, I've found myself with six, seven games to go, seven points behind, and still win the league. So for us, we're approaching this game like we approach any other game. We, we appreciate the, the significance of this game. But like we said, going into the Cup semi last year, it's about what we do. And if we can do that, and we know we've got the game on us to hurt anybody. And if we do that, then we'll be, we'll be in a good place. But the performance then is important to put down a marker then. You're not going to win or lose the title in September. The performance, you think, is, is key to giving you the confidence to go in and... and well, listen, we've got a confidence. We've got a confidence and a belief in what the manager wants us to do. We've just not really put it together as much as as much this season as what we did last season, whether that's be the increased level of opposition or whether it's trying to bed new signs. I mean, I don't know if you forget, was it 20 players or something we've turned over in the last in the last uh, last two summers? So it's a, it's a lot of lads to come in and to gel. It always takes time. This season, it's just taken us a little bit longer than what it did last year. Was there all that confidence there before the semi-final? Did you always feel that you could go out there and... I really th believed, hand on heart, believed we would win that game and I thought we would have won it well. And I think the performance showed that. I, f I really felt we deserved to win it. But if it wasn't in normal time, it would have been an extra time. you feel that going into this game? It's a different challenge. Like I said, when you play them at... When you play them at home at Parkhead or whether it be Ibrox, it's a different, it's a different, a different atmosphere. Obviously, the nature of our performances and results in the, the first four league games of the season is, yep. Listen, you can look at a positive or unbeaten, which I think if you had offered people that at the start of the season, four games in going into the old firm game unbeaten, then I think you would have taken it. So, as a player, we're disappointed in the the fact that we've maybe not performed as well. But we're still going in it fully belief in what we do. It could be a bit of a cliche, but do you need a cool head in a game like this, or putting aggression into it? Can that make? Any Listen, I think it's a bit of both. It's trying to find that that balance as long as it's controlled aggression, and I mean you don't want to be, you definitely don't want to get lost within the fixture, but uh, you don't want it to pass you by either. Obviously, there's a lot of focus on this at the whole Joey Barton and Scott Brown, and they both had a little bit of mischief making earlier in the season. Now it's about what they do on the pitch. How do you think Joey is approached since you've seen him in training today? Is he level-headed? Is he fired up for the game? What's his mindset? Listen, I can't, I can't, I can't speak for what's going on inside Joey's head, but what I will say is he's a very experienced footballer. Uh, I think everything he says and things he puts out there in the public is it's a lot to say tongue-in-cheek. He's uh, coming at this football, I have no worries about Joey losing his temper or, or losing his cool. I think he'll go about his business the way he does, always, in any game. And for us, hopefully that means he's, he's dominating the game, he's passing the football, he's breaking Celtic attacks up and starting attacks for us. I and mean, that's what he's there to do, so hopefully he'll do his talking on the part this weekend. Would you accept that he, he's kind of made himself a target, though, by some of the things he's I, said? He's brought it upon himself, that focus. Listen, I think he's, he's had that pretty much throughout his career. He's had a focus on him. He's, he's played at big clubs and big games, so coming to Rangers and playing an old fun games, uh, it's not any different for it's a huge, huge fixture. The spotlight's going to be on him and every other player that's on that pitch. Uh, like I said, hopefully he he puts his, his A game forward and dominates that game for us. You said the approach won't take, you'll try and dominate the ball, you'll try and be offensive, but is there a danger that could be your undoing? Celtic so pacey, so attack-minded in, in the game so far. Can you I afford think, to...? I think, I think we're pacey in going forward as well. I mean, yeah, they've got, they've got pace in that, in, in that forward area, but I think we have as well. I mean, I don't know if there'll be any quicker player in Scotland than Barry McKay or Josh Windass. I mean, these lads are fast players. I've still got a wee bit of pace myself, still, still retain a wee bit of the pace that I, I once had. So we're a threat. And it's, for me, it's not just about pace. I mean, you could be the quickest, you could be a sprinter, but it doesn't make you a good footballer. 
It's about having the intelligence of using that pace and how you use it. And I think even within our team, we've got we've got players who might not have that level of pace, but have definitely got the abilities to to hurt Celtic going forward. Just finally, you played in so many old Fulham games. That's almost was eighteen or something. Is there one moment from those games that sums up this fixture? If you just want that sums up the madness of it all. Again, I, 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 I talked about it last week. I think it's just one. I just after I left when when Lenny and Ali were going head to head. It's I mean obviously very respected figures at both clubs and uh, absolutely lost it. I think it was just an off the ball incident or something happened or it was at the end of the game and it all absolutely kicked off. I think something happened within the game and there was maybe a few words exchanged and then and all hell breaks loose at the end of the game. And For me, that's the old fun. People get carried away. I mean, like, like I think I read Ali again this morning saying that uh, after that game they sat and had a, gra- a glass of wine or a beer together and that's that's the thing. You can get caught up in the madness. Even two experienced heads like that can, go, can get caught up in the madness of this fixture.